In the broadest possible terms, the self can be defined as the unique identity of a person over time. It is a source of consciousness within a unified being. It is the agent responsible for the thoughts and actions of an individual. It can also be interpreted as the traits and characteristics of a person as observed by others. Some philosophers have argued that a person is their memories, that we define ourselves by past experiences. Though perhaps the self is the spirit, or maybe even the body that houses it. David Hume argues that the self is an illusion. Hume asks us to consider how we view ourselves. We think of ourselves as stable entities that exist over time. He argues, however, that no matter how closely we examine our own experiences, we never observe anything beyond a series of temporary feelings and sensations. We cannot observe ourselves in a unified way, only what we are experiencing at a specific moment in time. Hume suggests that the self is really just a bundle of perceptions, like links in a chain. Trying to find a unifying self beyond those perceptions is like trying to find a chain outside of those links. He describes these perceptions as either memory or the imagination of the mind. Hume treats the mind like a theatre, through which many perceptions make appearances, mingle and fall back. We sense ourselves through these perceptions, as a result of our experiences. But during long periods in which our perceptions are removed, such as sleep, then the self no longer exists. Hume is arguing that the self is an entirely illusory force and that the identity we have for ourselves is not stable at all, but fleeting. This almost stands in opposition to the philosophical mantra, I think, therefore I am, which locates the self in the act of thought. Hume makes a compelling argument that there is no such thing as the self. At any given point, you are only experiencing the thoughts in your head. For example, you are now hearing me speak and feeling the chair beneath you. You might be a little hungry or thirsty, but can you really look inside yourself at this point and see a permanent self? Sure, you may have memories of things that you've done, but to quote the film Memento, memory can change the shape of a room. It can change the color of a car, and memories can be distorted. They're just an interpretation. We are a different person from who we were five years ago, both in body and mind, and we will be a different person in five years to come. So who are we but a bundle of perceived thoughts and feelings encased in an ever-changing shell? I think one aspect of our identifiable self is the feeling of what it's like to be us, a familiarity with our own mental landscape and the unique way we each feel and digest situations. While perception is subjective and memories can certainly be distorted and forgotten, I feel that there is an inner consciousness that persists over time and develops a distinct and familiar way of viewing the world, and that this is the self. Some questions to consider are, what are we when we are asleep? We have no senses and perceive nothing. Our body may continue to exist, but does our self. Also, if our memories were erased, would we be the same person? And finally, could we learn who we used to be from friends and family? If so, is our self internal or observed by others?